This is Adobe Bridge. And if I go over to the Creative Cloud app, it's called Bridge V10 here. And you might as well get the latest version. Just come up to the Adobe Creative Cloud and see if someone else has downloaded it before you. You go ahead and open it, doesn't matter. Uh, you might as well just to see it because this is how we're gonna import photos and organize photos. Notice that it's like the finder path bar that shows you where we are. This is a finder for media files, any type of media files, video, sound, you know, all kinds of stuff. So um, I want you to get used to using Bridge when you're working on really large projects. It's a great way to look through your files once you get hundreds and hundreds of images. Now you might notice that this says Zoopix. That's the folder this is in. And it's inside another folder that's got a lot of other zoo pictures. And where are the animals? And how come there's only a few pictures? I go to the zoo all the time. My wife and I went on Monday. You know, we just walk around for a couple hours and see things that we want to see because we have a pass. We go all the time. I've had a zoo pass since the 1980s. And other than 10 years I lived in Northern California, I've had a zoo pass every year since then. So I go all the time. No animals. Look at this. What is this a picture of? Well, this is a great texture. This you double click and notice it opens up in Camera Raw. This should look familiar because we've been playing around with Camera Raw. This is something that would be great for an overlay to make your picture look grungy, but not as is. We can work this and turn this into a dozen different textures. More on that later. For right now, I just want you to understand when you go there, you're going to be looking for things that you don't ordinarily look for. And this, look, repetition, oh, proportion. What is that? Ah, more textures. You know, so what, what is this? This is the kick plate on a door, piece of metal at the bottom of a door. Up here, this is a rounded piece of metal, some kind of industrial device at the zoo. And then I noticed I had that bolt there, so I took another picture, different area. And you can take a whole bunch of pictures of the same thing, like you saw down here, with these kick plates. And what is this? Another reflective piece. I think there's a piece of dirty glass here somewhere. Um, I want you to be thinking of pictures that you wouldn't ordinarily take. And this goes for everyone in daily life. When you're walking around and you see something, snap a picture of it. Um, let's see, over here, uh, I'll give you the link to this. This is you know, up in the Eastern Sierras on a vacation. And these are texture pictures and, you know, repetition. Who would think of taking a picture of old rusty metal or peeling paint? I'll tell you, I do every single time I go out because I know these are resources I can use to make an image look that much better. So think about it, cracks in rocks. See, this is only one of a whole bunch of scavenger hunts we're going to be going on. And I want you to understand that um, this goes beyond the zoo. This goes the rest of the year. And each person that goes to the zoo is going to have a slip of paper that's got the scavenger hunt on it. Everybody else is going to have access to, you know, the, the quests that will be built up that are all about looking at the world differently. Okay, so there you go. There's a little primer on what we're going to do. I want you to get Adobe Bridge because when you put your card in the back of the, cam in the, back of the computer, you're going to say file, get photos from camera. And that's how we're going to import our pictures. And notice these are all DNGs. We're going to shoot in RAW with the, the MacLab cameras. You know, if you're shooting on your 
on your cell phone, great. You're going to pull in JPEGs. These are digital negatives. Far more powerful. It's up to you, though, whatever you want to do. All right, more on this later.